got into creepy yesterday and from a few observations i think this is worth mentioning apart from douala the two active coastal cities in cameroon are creepy and limbe now you may think going to either of them is going to give you like the full experience of the cameroonian coast culture but i kid you not they are different creepy has french influence while limbe has english influence another thing which is striking is that the sand in creepy is brown and the sand in limbe is this black. video is going to point out the uniqueness of creepy and i'm hoping that you can visit in your lifetime to experience and to savor the beauty of this community hey guys good morning i just woke up it is 7 a.m and i just wanted to drop this we have like an itinerary here this is not something that i organize it's not one of my travel programs that that i organize this is a program that is organized by cameroonian gospel artist super it's called a weekend with super and i was really just glad to jump in because i needed i needed me a break like this the program for today is breakfast at 9 a.m going out on a cruise boat cruise thingy and then the rest of the day is going to follow suit so i'm i'm taking you guys along see you it's eight i'll take like three minutes to take a bath i'm not even i'm not even there to be taking long to take a bath no i'm not one of those people so still like five six minutes i'll be done and then i'll join the breakfast table and then we're ready for the car to pick us up and take us to the beach 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 right, so this is my space right here I have in here a reflector. I'm hoping to get maybe like a good picture or something. So we were asked to walk in like with a team. The color of t-shirt you get, you should get like a hat. So I got, I'm wearing a blue t-shirt. I'm going to show you that. And then I got a blue hat. Got blue glasses. I have my sunscreen here. I heard Kribi is very hot. It's a coastal town. As expected, it is hot. But I've not experienced the hotness of Kribi yet. So I just got my sunscreen for, you know, that extra apply throughout the day. This is my phone right here. I just put it in this protective case so that I don't want stories that touch with the water. This is my camera bag. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. This is the camera right here I'm filming with. I have my phone here my extra phone and mic just in case i want to say something and maybe it's windy or something and then there is this bag this yeah, bag please. what does it have oh it has my purse for some money you know if i want to get like coconut water and then that is it oh i have my tripod right there see messy messy things happening that's my tripod i'm going with my tripod okay so let's go for breakfast one thing did not come with any wig to this place and i did not do my hair <laughs> So I'm shuffling between. I have this twist that I did on my hair. This is what I always have on my hair. I don't want to show you guys. Yeah, that's just it. <laughs> so I'm going to have breakfast like this. And then when we're going, when the ride is here, I'm going to come change, wear my hat, and then on period. Yummy. If I find I'm angry, I eat this. So that I'm uh, strength to be angry. Yeah. And here I am since we're going on like a boat ride I think I'm going to put this because I don't want my cap to just fly away that's just going to be it oh, it's beautiful hey guys so we are on our way to the beach I don't know which but every place we go to you all are going to know because I'm that generous <laughs> Do you sell the coconut? 500. Who is buying for 500? Me, I'm buying for 500. You I reject it in Jesus' name. Hey! <laughs> I look like 2000. 
500. Okay, so when you come here, they sell the coconut water at 500 francs. But I'm not buying it at 500. I'm not buying at 500. We're buying it at 200 francs. So you can either be supportive to get it at the price they are selling 500, or you can. We in Cameroon, you can always just fit and get a better deal. As a queen in this pain. Oh my gosh! It splashed on me. It means it's, it's alcoholic. And it's burst. It's burst all over. It's not burst. It, it's the coconut. They, they opened it and it splashed on me. Hey. Okay, let's go down to the waterfront. Let's go to the beach. Beach. So, Atimimi, what's the name of this beach we are just from? Ngoye Beach. Okay, what's it known for in Kribi? Chopping, Chopping fish. Chopping fish. Chopping Come fish. At night. At night. Oh, okay. Fish that they sell for 500 in the quarter when you are here is 15,000. Eh? I then go a beach. Yes. One manga. Wait, so the 15,000 francs is one of the cheapest? <laughs> 50,000 francs at one manga. Yes. Fine. Huh. Somebody offer you fish in Kribi, respect the person. Yeah, see, if somebody offers you fish in Kribi, respect the person. So going to see the Lobe Falls and all the other beaches in Kribi is basically one lane, easy for you to memorize. Our second location for the day is the Lobe Falls. Hey, my love. So we just got to the Lobe Falls. I think we call them Shoot the Lobe. So we are going to have like a canoe ride to see the fall. It's something that people do here when they come around Kribi. Yeah, like everybody does that. I have never done that even though I have been to this place a couple of times. Oh, not a couple of times. Actually, a couple of times because it's like two times. Yes. Let's go do that and then get back to works. Lobe is a village in Kribi and the falls are found in Lobe. You actually cannot miss the fall because when you get to the entrance, one, there is a signboard and two, there's people everywhere hustling you for you to get into their canoe, for you to eat crevet at their cool. place. I don't think Saturday is the best day to come here like this. Full. and for me it's not something that i really really like to have a full party so this is what the shoot the lobe looks like so the last time i came here there's some part up there like a beach a small beach area right there i did not see it so that's a new development in this place. Never ever seen that. So let's see if we go to when we take the Peru, we're going to the, the boat. We're going to get there. We've crossed to the other side of the beach. This is another island here. Hmm, never known that there was a place like this. The last time I came, I don't think it was as developed as this. Not really developed, but we have like beach houses, um, changing rooms, and a changing room here costs 500 francs. So you come as a group and you pay 500 francs to change. The sand is hot. 
under my feet like my feet are burning but i hear it's therapeutical i hear it's some form of therapy to have your your feet burnt by the sun i don't know how true that is or it or if it's going to give me callosis that's just what i heard but i'm going to check that out and then i will confirm later on in the video so let's get changed and then we're playing around okay Hi guys, so we just went around the beach. How much is this? So I think now we will get our ride back to the other side of the beach. Um, is it fermented? No, it's not. It's the pressure when it's cast. The pressure. Ça fait un peu comme le jus quand on met pour les jus à la pêche. Ce n'est pas la colle. <rire> non, c'est le, le jus. D'accord. Yeah. C'est petit. Ça passe pas. Tu n'as pas besoin de l'eau. Ça nous sommes en train de faire un bateau sur l'autre côté de la mer. And then whatever happens, you all know me. I'm going to share with you all, and I hope that you enjoy the video. Keep on watching. Hi everybody, today we have lunch just in the yard of the apartment we are staying in. The setup is just happening outside. I have to join, it's kind of like a yellow theme thing. Yep, so this is what I have as yellow. I heard my name. Everybody's down, I don't know if everybody's down, let me see. I really don't know exactly what I want to do, but I'll try to join them so that we can start the lunch. All right. There's this fish in Kribi, like when you get to the payage, the fish just welcomes you, they call it mapang, it is a Kribi, what do you call it, it's like a, a staple food here in Kribi, so Omi Agata brought the fish for us and we're going to test it and I'm going to ask her if she can tell us how the fish is being made, she speaks French, so know that you're going to have a French interview if she eventually opens up, okay, so let's go try and talk to her and see if she's going to tell us. All right. Je m'appelle Agathe. Je suis à Pala. Mm -hmm. Pala, c'est où? Pala, une belle scénariste. D'accord. Une belle scénariste. On fait, bon, le poisson pour la liquide de Mabam. On fait ça du poisson, et le piment, le pomme de piment, le sel, le citron. Bon, tu peux mettre avec un peu de cru. Ceux qui mangent le cube, ceux qui ne mangent pas le cube, tu fais le piment, le citron et le sel. Et tu mets à la clé. On fume ça. Et c'est comme ça qu'on fait le maman. Et ici, ici à Kribi, on mange ça avec quoi Avec le bâton. Avec le bâton. Ok, tu aimes le mabang Oui, j'aime bien le mabang. D'accord, merci. C'est ma nourriture, mon, ma nourriture pour... Et... C'est ma nourriture traditionnelle. Oh, de quel, quel village Moi, je suis Batanga. Batanga. Le oh. Kribi. Le Kribi. Batanga. Là où les. Avec le pygmé. Non, 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 non. Non, non batanga, pas chez le pygmé. Oui, les Batanga ne vivent pas avec les pygmés. Ah. Ce sont les, mab, les Mabia qui, uh -huh. sont, qui, qui, qui sont en brousse avec les pygmés. Mais nous, les Batanga, nous sommes de la côte. Ah, oh, d'accord, 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 d'accord. Merci beaucoup. On va manger en soirée. On va manger ça en soirée. 
by the time this mabang came we were already saturated with the fish and batong on the table so we kept it for the next day this mabang neared us and we destroyed its life keep watching for my adventures in kribi hi there's one story i have to share with you guys uh, it's going to be in the next video thank you for watching i'll see you all in my next video make sure to like this video comment subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye bye